my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got my St. Patrick's Day manicure for 2017. And I have started off with Look Strengthening Base Coat. And this is Eliana's collection and it's Mint Marshmallow. It is so pretty. Oh, and I've topped it off with Posh. And I'm going to be using this Nobby Magnetic Polish in number 25 Dark Green and my China Glaze Magnet. And I'm going to just run a strip of this kind of down the center of my nail. It's not always going to be perfect because it's, you know, it's me doing it. <laughs> so it's not going to be perfect. And I'm trying to get this rather thick so that the magnetic part of it will work. And then I'm going to hold this magnet. Hang on just a second. I'm going to hold this magnet over it for, I don't know, 20 seconds maybe. Um, and I have to hold it like this so that I can see the light through it or I'll end up bumping it with the magnet. And this is very boring. I apologize. And there we go. Look at that. Yay! <laughs> and I'm going to do this to the other two nails. Before we head on into the next part of this manicure. I'm just trying to do a thick bead of it down the center of my nail. Kind of a stripe. I've been meaning to play with my magnetic polishes a little more. I have a bunch of them so you might see some more. And we're going to line that up again and hold the magnet over it. And I got my China Glaze magnet off of eBay. There are actually, I've got two of them. The red one with three different designs on it and then I have a silver one that has different designs on it. And I don't remember them costing very much. Um, all of my magnetic polishes have a magnet on top of them. Look there. But I just choose to, you know, have a freestanding one. And I'm going to use the Stripe Bright in the gold glitter striper brush to just go down either side of my magnetic part of the design. Give it some bling. This manicure's got a little bit of everything going on in it. And I have done this manicure before and I wanted to recreate it in video and share it with you guys but this last time I used a lighter green as my base color I think I used Sally Hansen extreme wear mint sorbet or something like that but you could use any any light shade of green or any variation colors if you'd like to recreate it we just use what we have but I wanted to try this mint marshmallow out so that's what I went with this time and I'm just kind of re-going over these to thicken that line up a little bit. And there we go. And I'm going to top this off with some Posh Top Coat and get it to dry down because I want to do just a little bit of stamping. And I don't want to mess this up. And I also want to have the option of um, removing an image if it doesn't turn out very good. But this looks really pretty just like this and it could totally be worn that way. This is Wistonia plate number W105, and I'm going to use this tiny four-leaf clover image over in the corner. And of course, I'm using my monocle stamper and my Faber nail scraper and the Born Pretty White Stampin' Polish. And I'm just picking up that one little image, and I'm trying to, I'm not dead on center, but I'm trying to get it kind of centered on all my nails. And I'm cleaning off on my lint roller in between stamping images. We're going to do this to all of the nails. Get it in frame, Tina. Come on. There we go. Real, you can tell I like this one because I did it on both hands. 
Well, that one didn't come up very good, so I'm going to do, do over. Clean that plate off and start over again. There we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. Again. These all went on pretty good. I didn't have too much trouble with them. Pretty happy about that. <clears throat> and for that little pinky nail, tap, tap. Make sure it's not lifting. And there we have it. I'm going to top this manicure off with Posh Top Coat. And I really, really do like this one. This is one of my favorites. Cap that in so I can wear this for a little bit. But I really, really did like this one. I was very excited about doing it. <laughs> got the gold, got the greens, got the, the four leaf clover. I don't know if that's really technically considered a shamrock, but it's. It's four leaves, so I'm going to call it a four-leaf clover. <laughs> it's so blingtastic, it's bugging out my camera. Look at that. <laughs> oh, come on. Blurry mess. Anyway, capping that in. There we go. There it is. And this is my St. Patty's Manny. On both hands. <laughs> and here's my finished manicure. I hope you like this one. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. And thanks for watching. Till next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.